Lady Gaga finds healing with new boyfriend Michael Polanski, report says. Lady Gaga is reportedly head over heels in love with her new boyfriend and she is found healing in the relationship, according to the upcoming February 24, 2020, issue of Life and Style magazine. The magazine discussed Lady Gaga's past romances and a non-existent relationship with Bradley Cooper that many thought would have come to fruition after the two split from their partners. Now, it seems that Lady Gaga has found happiness with Michael and according to a source, may have found the one. Life and Style quoted a source who spoke about Lady Gaga's struggles with PTSD and anxiety and discussed how the relationship with Michael has been healing for her. The source stated the following to the publication. Gaga is telling everyone that he's a keeper. She doesn't want to jinx anything, but she thinks she's found her Mr. Right. Lady Gaga first shared a photo of herself with Michael on February 4, 2020, and has since shared several more. She posted a sweet message to him on Valentine's Day that read as follows. Happy Valentine's Day. Babe, do I have lipstick all over me? Hashtag Valentine's Happy V Day to all my monsters. I love you. She shared another photo of herself with Michael on February 18, 2020, where the two were standing by a large body of water as the sun set. You may see that photo below. The source continued to explain why Lady Gaga has fallen head over heels for Michael. Gaga likes that he makes her feel sexy, but also safe and secure, like he'll protect her from anything. That's new. Fans are thrilled that Lady Gaga finally has a man in her life who is bringing her so much joy and happiness. The photos that Lady Gaga has shared continue to get over 1 million likes and thousands of comments from people who are congratulating Lady Gaga and Michael for their new relationship. The source also said that Michael has a wonderful impact on Lady Gaga and has helped keep her balanced when she has tended to sink into depression in the past. The source stated the following. Relationships can have an effect on her mood, like they do with most people. Fortunately, unlike when she was young, she now has the tools to work through it. What do you think about Lady Gaga and Michael Polanski? Advertisement. Are you happy that Gaga has found love and happiness again and is in a relationship that is bringing her healing? The only person Lady Gaga trusts with her money. Lady Gaga is one of the biggest stars today with numerous hit songs under her belt like Just Dance, Poker Face, Bad Romance, and Born This Way. She has also toured all over the world and become known for her unique performance concepts. Since Gaga has a very high net worth, fans are no doubt wondering about who is in charge of her finances. It would perhaps not be surprising if Gaga often turns to reputable accountants and lawyers to help manage her money. However, she actually has someone else in her life who she trusts a lot more. Lady Gaga only trusts her father with her finances. Gaga's father, Joe Germanata, is someone the singer often shares her hard earned money with. In 2011, it was reported that Joe receives 50% of his daughter's earnings. Gaga's father does not manage her career, though he does co-own Gaga's LLCs, Team Love Child and Mermaid Music. According to experts in the music industry, this arrangement is definitely unusual for artists, especially when it comes to splitting money 50-50 with someone. There's really no justifiable sense to doing a 50-50 deal with anyone in your career, other than someone your partner's in a band with, entertainment lawyer Josh Greer said. Certainly no artist entering a management deal does anything close to that, a commission is usually 15 to 20 percent. In an interview with Howard Stern, Gaga shared that she trusts her father's financial advice more than anyone else's. For example, when Gaga wanted to spend a lot of money to buy Michael Jackson's old clothes to help preserve them, the person she turned to before she went ahead with the decision was her father. In 2014, she also gave her father control of her $24 million property in Malibu, California. Lady Gaga's father supported her music career from the beginning. Perhaps it's easy to see why Gaga trusts her father so much. Joe actually played a big role in helping Gaga rise to the top. According to the New York Post, Gaga's father made a lot of money in hotel Wi-Fi when Gaga was growing up. As such, 
Gaga's family lived in the Upper West Side in New York City, and she attended the expensive convent of the Sacred Heart School in Manhattan. When Gaga decided that she wanted to become a singer, Joe used his connections to give her opportunities to record music and allowed her to meet with people from various record labels. He also paid rent for Gaga for 12 months when she decided to drop out of New York University in 2005. At some point, Joe and Gaga's relationship became rocky when he found out that she was performing around New York City with a provocative image. After a while, though, he did eventually warm up to Gaga and accepted that her art made her happy. Their relationship definitely improved as she made money, a source told the New York Post. That helped substantially. I don't know that it's healthy. As soon as she started earning money, he said something to her like, what man wouldn't want you now that you're becoming so successful? Lady Gaga's father now owns restaurants and manages artists. Gaga's father currently owns two restaurants in NYC. Joanne Trattoria and Art Bird and Whiskey Bar. Joanne Trattoria is an Italian dining spot that used to be known as Vince and Eddie's. However, Gaga bought it for her father and he renamed the spot as Joanne Trattoria after his late sister. Meanwhile, Art Bird and Whiskey Bar is a fast zero casual counter at Grand Central Terminal that serves fried chicken. Aside from owning these restaurants, Joe also manages aspiring artists. 